Hello, welcome back to another video. Here we're giving the following equation x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. And right over here we ask to evaluate x to the power of 105 minus x to the power of 35. Isn't that crazy? Okay, now let us watch how to solve this problem, but believe me, this problem is very easy problem. Okay, okay, now let us take a look at this equation. We find out that this is just a geometric progression, right? So here we have s is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 6 okay so we're going to sum this up to the first n terms right okay so now to sum this up but here we just have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 terms so we're going to sum this up to the first 7 terms so here we're going to use this formula that is sum of the first n term of a geometric progression is a o bracket 1 minus the common ratio to the power of n all over 1 minus the common ratio right okay so here a is equal to 1 so that is our first term here then we need to find our common ratio so we can find out the common ratio by dividing the second term by the first term so x over 1 that is just x so this is our common ratio and again the number of terms is equal to 7 right so here we have s7 is equal to 1 over 1 minus x to the power of 7 all over 1 minus x okay so here this equation is equal to 0 so we have written this equation in this format which is what 1 minus x to the power of 7 all over 1 minus x so here we're going to have 1 minus x to the power of 7 all over 1 minus x to be equal to 0 so from here we get to multiply both sides by x by 1 minus x so we're going to have 1 minus x to the power of 7 to be equal to 0 and from here we get x to the power of 7 to be equal to 0 okay so from here many may think that we can easily figure out the value of x here sorry i mean one i'm so sorry for that so from here x is power seven is equal to one and many may think that we can actually figure out one of the values of x there as taking the seventh root of both sides thereby getting x to be equal to one but that is not a solution x to the power of seven is equal to one doesn't mean that we can actually figure out the value of x from here so this is just trying to let us know that the values of x in this equation that when you raise them to the power of 7 it will result 1 right okay now sincerely here we have x to the power of 7 equals 1 so let us raise both sides to the power of 5 right because here we have 35 right over here so raise both sides to the power of 5 and here to the power of 5 so here we get x to the power of 7 times 5 which is 35 this is equal to 1 so here we have this here okay 105 from here 105 if you divide it by 7 we're going to have um that is 15 right okay so here that we have x to the power of 7 to be equal to 1 so we can raise both sides to the power of 15 and here to the power of 15 so here we get x to the power of 7 times 15 what that is 105 and this is equal to 1 to the power of 15 which is 1 right so the expression we are asked to evaluate x to the power 105 minus x to the power of 35 will be equal to 1 minus 1 and this is equal to 0 and this is the solution to the problem thank you for watching please kindly subscribe to my channel please like comment and share bye bye